Hey everyone, so I kind of want to do this type of like video where it's um, where I'm hauling on the go So I'm gonna call it like um, haul on the go <laughs> Because uh, typically whenever I do get something I don't usually get back until pretty late and it'll be like too late to film or and then once that happens like I'll you know it'll probably take me a couple weeks before I can actually get everything get a haul video for you guys so I kind of want to do something while while it's fresh in my mind and uh, right after I'm done shopping and everything then I would just be able to like show you guys what I have and it's just like I can get this up in a decent amount of time for you so anyways um let's start off with I just got um I just stopped by a salon near me where no it's not really even near me but it's like probably the only two salons in the area that actually carries uh Shu Uramura's products or hair products and I really really wanted to try out the cleansing oil that Ray was talking about in her video and this is the Shu Uramura's Art of Hair cleansing shampoo so I wanted to give this a try and see like how it is and everything. I mean, I, you know, I hear from Ray and she's awesome with her reviews and everything. Um, and this one says this paraben and silicone free formula. And this is something that you can actually use um, as a daily use. Since I wash my hair every day, I like that my hair is, you know, it just feels clean the next day. And then typically when I wash my hair, I, do, I just let it air dry. And so it will just air dry, um like smooth and sleek uh, like straight so you know I don't have to do it much to it um, if I sleep the next day and everything my hair gets all like crinkly and everything and I don't really like that so I do wash my hair every day but you know during the winter time it does get dried out and everything so I kinda want to put this to a test and see how it does for my hair so this is pretty pricey. I think this was like $58 after tax. Um, hopefully I won't need to do, use too much of this and maybe be able to use it for quite a long time. So we will see about this. And I stopped by Max at Tyson's because I wanted to do like a back to Mac um, on two of the items that I have. And one, uh, let me show you. And the item that I back to Mac is this color red. It is a called lady red I believe but it's like a very orangey red color which was I've, I've been looking for something like this um, I was trying to look for one in the next one I uh, haven't decided I'm gonna do a comparison between the two but this is the one that I got so I can't wait to try this out in a tutorial and then of course I wanted to um, shop the uh, shop cook or collection I want to get the kissable lip color, but the only one that they have left is uh, So Vain, which is on my lips. I don't think you can actually tell. It's more of a, like a pinky, really pinky uh, lip gloss color. And it's very thick, actually. Um, it can even feel like it's lipstick almost, um, at least the color, because it's really pigmented on the on the lips. Um, doesn't seem like a like a regular lip gloss um, but this is a cream sheen which is great because it feels very smooth on the lips and it's not sticky at all so I definitely recommend it and I like the packaging a lot so what is this it doesn't say what the collection is but it's this colorful color so so that's what I got and then I wanted to get a MAC brush and I got this one here which I really like the pointed tip um, air, like the way it looks and everything because it's really good for you know contouring around here um, and then just bring it down here I really like it feels so soft but yeah so I wanted to get this and want to add this to my collection and this is the max 130 brush and just a few other things I got the MAC prep and prime this is the transparent finishing powder and I wanted to get something like this um, for my collection but it just looks like this. It's just your, like, um, it's like the Makeup Forever HD powder, but it's in the press form. So it leaves no color, but it leaves like a good finish on your skin. And then also, uh, my soft ochre has been drying out on me, so I decided to pick up a new one. And that's the color that it looks like. I like to use it as like an all over um, base for my lid. So it keeps put. Um, I find that when I use the paint pot plus using the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, it really, the, the shadows really stay on my eyes quite a bit. So I find those two com combo works really well for me. And I know there are a few people who have asked me why I use both. And that's the reason why. is because if I use one or the other, like uh, typically they don't stay. So I, I guess my lid is pretty oily. Um, 
but the colors don't usually last through the, throughout the night. But when I use the combo of the paint pot plus the like, NYX Jumbo Pencil, it works really well for me. And then I got the Cream Sheen um, Lip Gloss, and this is partial to pink. Really like this color. I probably swatched about a whole bunch of it um, before I decided on partial to pink. And also I want to get the Press Sheer Powder. Um, this is the NC25. So I want to get that. It's also slim that you can carry in your purse. So, so that's it for Max products. So I also got a whole bunch of Lush items. Um, I wanted to stock up, stock up on a few of these items here, and also pick up some new ones too. So this one here, um, there's no name for this one, but it's like a really sparkly gold color. And it, smell, it smells very like citrusy and everything, and I love this color. And I had asked the girl who had helped me if I would look like a glitter ball all over this because you know you get all these like glitter residue out. But she said that you won't, you wouldn't because these glitter it dissolves in the water, so that's good. Because you know you don't want to like get out the tub and look like a golden ball. You know what I mean? So I can't wait to put this in my martini glass, in my jumbo martini glass that you've seen before. Um, I'll show you guys later at the end of the video. And then, mm, I love this like bath bomb one. And I love anything with rose in, so, so pretty. I find when you, I bring these into like the bedroom and everything, it just makes it smell so nice. So I got two of those. And of course the rose bubble bar, got that. And then of course I got this like um can't re remember what was it pop in the color or something or oh it smells so good but I got two of these oh this was a new one at least new to me but now I really think it smells really good it smells like very kind of bubble gumish. And like uh, the lady said that you can pretty much quarter this up so like you can take four baths with this one. So got one of that. And then I got the Dorothy one. And then I got a free sample of the Rockstar soap. Um, I think I smelled like a whole bunch of soap before I decided on this one. And it smells so good. Like blossomy. Vanilla and so I feel some bubble gum too, but it's like very, it's like a raspberry type of smell with like a vanilla scent or something. I really like this actually. The lady like probably gave me like four or five of the soaps to smell, but like oh no, <laughs> I'm very particular with the scent. And usually when I go into the Lush store, like it the scent is just overwhelming to me. Um, so like. With this one, I, I just went in there, you know, I just kind of knew what I wanted to get. Um, the only things that I really, really like from Lush is um, are the bubble bars and the bath bomb. That's probably the only thing that I like. Um, anything else is just like, you know, it's like whatever. Um, I typically just only just stuck up on the bubble bars. So that is it for my Lush haul. I pretty much just got like a uh, double of everything. And then just a few fashion stuff. I typically don't shop um, at Wet Seal, like, but I passed by the window the other day, and it, I, like I saw this crochet pair of shorts that I thought was really cute, um, and I can't wait to pair this up with something. It was really cheap too. It was like. $20 or something like that. The only thing with Wet Seal is the return policy is very much like the uh, Forever 21, although I think Forever 21 is only 14 days of re um, exchange only, uh, with Wet Seal is only 21 days. Uh, but if you order online, uh, you can still get your money back if you send it back to them. So that's, that's another thing if you really need to send something back. So can't wait to pair this up with something. And then a few things from H&M. So I got this like cute leather panel skirt that is adorable. It has, uh, it's just a pencil skirt. It has a slit in the back, but it's got the side panels and everything. And I thought this was too adorable for words, so I got that. All right, sorry about that. My battery died like towards the end of the haul, which I want to complete for you guys. Uh, 
And then from H&M, I also got this like donut base for your hair, which is an, another alternative to the sock bun uh, video, which I'll link below, that I did about two summers ago. And uh, what you do is just pull your ponytail through here, wrap the hair right around the base, and pin into place. Uh, this one is only $3.95, which is in the H&M stores right now. So, you know, head out there to check it out if you want to purchase this. Very cheap. Um, also, I saw this paisley dress, which Jean from Extra Petite had um, talked about it last night. I didn't see it at the H&M here, but I did see it at the H&M uh, at Tyson's. So this is what I got, and it's the paisley dress one. I am a sucker for anything that has pockets in them, and this one does have a pocket. So it's very flirty, very cute, um, very... Uh, like, like I said, sort of a chiffon material type. I'm not entirely sure what it's made of, but it has the collar part here. Uh, but it's very cute, and it's, it comes with a belt. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this belt or just find something else. But this belt is actually adjustable to any um, size, so that's actually good. So that's what I got. And then also this, like, really um, cobalt blue slim pants, supposed to be. And this was, was only $12.95, so I was like, what the heck, you know, might as well. Um, but I really love that the cobalt blue type of color. Um, and definitely, you know, for $12.95, can't really beat that, you know. So there you go. And just to show you guys ex um, what I got from Jewel Mint, this here is... Um, let me see. This piece here is actually a piece that was given for free if um, if we like the post that they have sent. And I really like this. It's, it comes with like a rose gold plus a silver um, medallion looking thing. And on the back it just says, Be the Change. So I really like that. Um, and it has a nice design here. And then also from Jewelman is this blush bomb ring. I thought the stone would be a little bit more pinker than this but it actually looks really um i don't know it didn't really have any color to it so i'm a little bit uh, you know um okay with this ring there is a silver and turquoise one that's actually really pretty so if you guys are able to get that that might be a better one but i wanted to have some sort of contrast and i didn't, didn't really see it in this ring and um and another jewel mint piece that i got as well and this is Here to Eternity set, which has been around for a while, but I never really got around to it. Um, but So I, I decided to go ahead and get this. And it has your knot, the love knot on the top, the love, which I'm a sucker for, and just like a thin um, band here with a, like heart studs. So I like that. As well as this here which is a, a knot as well i'm really like getting into like these knots but this one is actually from asos and this was not that bad i think it was only ten dollars or something for this so that's it for my haul on the go i hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if there's any questions and if you'd like to see more of these videos please like favor and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one bye all right as mentioned before this is how i store the um lush bubble bars and bath bombs. It looks so cute all clustered together in this um, margarita bowl that was from my bridal shower a couple years ago. And I decided to just use it for the Lush products. So cute.